Hello, it is I. So I found out some interesting things about the Forza franchise, so I decided to put them in this video. I'm fully aware that you may know a few of these, if not all of them. If so, then well done, you're smarter than me. If not, then this video may be pretty interesting for you. So this is 10 facts you didn't know about Forza. Enjoy the video. The Liberty Walk 458 So if you played Forza Horizon 3 you'd know about the Liberty Walk kit for the 458 However if you got a 458 in Horizon 4 there's no kit you can put on the car This is pretty annoying but it means that Forza Horizon 3 is the only ever game to have a licensed Liberty Walk 458 in it And that's pretty cool in my opinion Coloured carbon fibre So this is something pretty obvious for most of us players However I watched a Black Panther Apollo IE video and this happened And the hood we could- Oh my god, wait! <gasps> okay, that's pretty sick. Oh no, it doesn't. It was a glitch. Please stay like that, because that is really cool. I don't know if you can really make it out, but there's, it, it makes it carbon orange. He was pretty surprised to see tinted carbon fiber. And judging by his reaction, it seems like he didn't know that you can actually tint carbon fiber. So how do you do it? If you select any of the carbon fibers, X has tint written on it. Select that and adjust to how you want the tint to be. Now, I've got quite a few cars with tinted carbon fiber, such as this Senna, my Bugatti Chiron, and you gotta admit, they do look pretty cool. And yes, this is pretty obvious, but some people don't know about this feature. And this works on every single Forza game, with the exception of Motorsport 7, the Audi Quattro barn find. Big shout out to Eric Ship Triple One for this one. He mentioned it in a video recently and it turned out that we both found this out late, so yay! The reason the Quattro is shot up damaged and has a siren on the roof is to reference a British TV show called Ashes to Ashes. This is a big L for me as I'm British and I haven't even heard of this show. So the hero car in this TV program is a 1983 B2 Audi Quattro, which is not the same car as the car in the barn find, but nevertheless, I'm sure we can all agree that this is a nice little reference to the show. Props to Turn 10 and Playground Games for this one. The Rare Transit Van. From the Lords of Horizon 4, if you had a transit van, you could put a ladder on the roof. This would easily disguise the car into traffic if you're playing a game like City Camouflage. However, get a transit van now and it's not available. I'm not sure if this was an intentional stunt pulled by Turn 10, but if you have a ladder on your transit van, that is one rare car you've got. Ludicrous Mode. In Forza Horizon 3, the P90D Model S mentioned that it has Ludicrous Mode on it. So how do you activate it? It's as simple as holding down the brake, holding down the accelerator and just letting go of the brake. Even with zero traction control, the car launches like a rocket. Now I know many people would think that if you upgrade the tyres you'd get a better launch but nope. The stock Model S tyres are the best ones for launching. In order to activate it, get a stock Model S, brake, accelerate and let go of the brake. Car mileage. So this is something I mentioned in one of my previous videos but a lot of people didn't get to understand it. Mileage on cars go up in cars in Horizon 4 but I forgot to mention that this only works on certain cars. For example, the C63S is a good example for this. Look on the bottom and you'll see the number of miles driven on that journey. Go to your garage and reset the car and the bottom figure goes back to zero and when you start driving again that number will start to increase. This also works on the 911 GT3 RS and the McLaren Senna using the exact same system. So comment down below any other cars you know that this works on too. The Festival Radio. Change your music whilst driving in Horizon 4 and it works a charm. Go to the festival and try changing the music and you end up changing the music that's playing in the festival. This makes a lot of sense for a game but imagine this in real life. Horizon Australia's Pink Lake. In Forza Horizon 3 you may know about the Pink Lakes but did you know this is based off an actual lake in Australia? Well, it is. It's actually based off of the Spencer Lake in Western Australia, just like how the lake is on the west side of the map. Just like Warren said, the reason the lake is pink is to do with salinity, algae and temperature. The salinity is reducing, meaning the pink lake is starting to fade away. But it's a really cool landmark nevertheless. Marvel characters in Forza? Ever watched Guardians of the Galaxy? If so, do you recognise this voice? I'm here to fetch you for my master. It's hard to make out but she is voiced by Ophelia Lovett Bond, who funnily enough does the voice for Rebecca in Horizon 4. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? It's pretty cool to know that an actress from a Marvel franchise does voices in Forza. If you found this pretty interesting, make sure to check out my Forza voice actors video I made a couple months ago, looking inside of houses. Get into a drone in Horizon 4 and fly up to the windows of the houses. You'll be able to see the interior of the house. Head to Edinburgh and you can do this inside shops, and the mannequin ones have a really nice effect too. This is what playground games call parallax windows. It gives the illusion that something is three-dimensional when in reality it's just two layers. I find it fascinating that they've put in the time to implement this into the game. Yes, Forza don't exactly have the best sounds as pointed out by many people, but attention to detail is one aspect where they shine.
Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy and learn a couple things. Comment down below any thoughts or facts you know and if it's pretty interesting, your comment may be featured in the next video. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, share this video to anybody who should see this video and comment down below any future video plans or anything you'd like to see in the future. Anyways, until next time, have a good one guys. Cheers. Sie pudert sich die Nase, ich pop eine Zenny Checke frische Nudes auf meinem Handy Rocket Gucci Prada Louis Fendi Pferdemädchen lesen gerne Wendy